After three hard-fought rounds, this goes to the judges' scorecards. The scores come in 30-27, 30-27, 29-28. By unanimous decision and earning their place in the finale November 4th, Team Islands, Dennis Frimpong! Even though Bo lost, he showed such toughness. By God, it's admirable, you know? He was having so much fun in that cage. He came out and he was like, that was fun, that, you know? <laughs> I should have played a bit smarter, but I loved it too much, you know? As you can see in my face now, but oh, it was good, that. I enjoyed that. There is more to come from Bo Gavin. It's the first time in a fight I've ever been dropped. I don't normally get hit clean like that. But good on Dennis, you know? Good on him, man. But Frimpong thoroughly, thoroughly earned his spot in that final. Delighted to be in the final, but I expected to be in the final from the start. You know, I came here expecting to win it. Oh my God, what the fight, what the fight. <laughs> Three rounds of madness. The only thing that surprised me is that when uh, Bo put Dennis on the ground, he didn't follow him there. I've never been hit like that before. And what did surprise me was how it felt, because no one's ever caught me clean like that in a fight and, and dropped me. I love Bo, man. Yeah, he's, yeah. He, yeah, he's won the heart of a lot of people, I bet, especially with that performance. And he's got a lifelong fan in me, 100%. I think he should be proud of himself. What I really appreciated in this fight was watching Dennis, how he's creative in his fighting style. And there was a few moments there when I, when, I, when I hit him, and I was like, this fucking tough scouse bastard, you know what I mean? It is what it is, and Dennis is in the final. I cannot wait to see Dennis Frimpong in finale in Manchester Arena. In the finals, that big AO Arena, 18,000 seater, you know, that's what I can't wait for. Honestly think Dennis and Bo's fight was the fight of the whole season. That fight isn't just one that they will remember, but one that me, one that you guys will remember for a long time to come. My cousin's granddad <clears throat> passed away, passed away while I was over here. And, um, and I'm just doesn't feel enough for it, but... It is what it is, you know? He's like my cousin's granddad, but he's like... In a way, he's all of our granddad, you know? He's a good man. He's a gentleman. He was someone I, I want, I'd like to be like, you know? And he passed away while we were over here. I had to miss his funeral for it and everything, you know? Just to chase me dream. This is just another stepping stone for me, my career. You know, I went out there, I give it me all, man. I give it me all, and that's all you can ask for, you know? <laughs> but I had fun. I had fun. Aaron McDonald and Hassan Galazi verbally sparred for about 30 minutes. You're gonna give me a hard time? Uh, no, I don't, you're not gonna destroy me. You're gonna destroy me? When Ian Buffer now, I'll come and wait to fight him. Because I lost, you know, he's trying to say, listen, mate, we can have it, me and you, when you want. I'll be happy enough to send you a time. I, 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 I wouldn't mind. I'm, like, I'm gonna be happy to fuck you up. I'm gonna be happy to fuck Diddy's up. Anyone. Hassan had a few things to say to me during the show, and uh, I just didn't like the, what, what he was saying about me, and uh, he thinks he can just walk all over me. Yeah. If I hit you a straight jab in that nose, yeah. mate, you take one more hard yeah. jab in that nose, yeah. and you're done, bro. No, just, You'll not be able to breathe again, mate. And I don't want to actually kill you, mate, because no, I actually no, like you. Yeah. You're a good fella, but I don't want to kill you. Yeah. So like I say, it's three more you in November. Yeah, yeah like, let's be honest, it's his last fight ever, you know what I mean? It's his retirement fight. I'll be happy enough to put him your in retirement. Friend, your friend said the same thing. I'll make sure he still stays in for November 4th. Get him sent out in a stretcher. Well, I didn't I did knock you out with a no shot. I yes. kicked you in the fucking chin, bro. Yeah. Oh, no, no, it's not. Oh, your, jaw, your jaw spun that way, bro. Oh, my you're unconscious. No. Yeah, no, you no. don't. You don't want to Do you not remember it? Where's my job? Do you not remember it? You're talking about You'll see it on the video. You don't want to know. I understand. I stood up so well. He stood up like. Yeah. And then where am I? Yeah, I think that'll be a good fight. Obviously, I fought both of them. Wait, two no. former opponents. I thought he was going to say something. I thought he was going to say something. I don't do it, Dennis. I don't, don't, don't do it, Dennis. Don't, 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 don't do it, Dennis. <laughs>
I feel like it's a fight that should happen. It's a fight that needs to happen now that you've shook on it. Come on. Oh, I think it's perfect similar. fight. Perfect fight. Yeah, it's perfect. Stop trying to kiss him, lad. Shut up. He's a nonce, that's why. Because hey. I'm so young, mate. Hey. Aaron thinks he can put Hassan into retirement. Hassan thinks he can shut the mouth of Aaron McDonald. All I have to say is take my money. George Staines versus Armand Hergzeg is the second of our semi-finals, and this could be wild. You know I'm not an aggressive person, and I don't fight with aggression, I fight with technique. Hergzeg will have to impose himself very early to deal with the style of George Staines. I feel like he's better everywhere in MMA than Armand, so I feel like he beats Armand however he wants. George has been on a roller coaster to get to this moment. He wants it so badly. So obviously Dennis won, um, which means I, I'm fighting Dennis in the final, which is a fight I'm very looking forward to. I've been wanting to really since he was like chatting a lot of shit about my family, and since then I've really wanted to bang him, <laughs> to put it uh, in layman's terms. And he is coming with arguably the most well-rounded skill set. I feel like he's already got it all. I feel like he's got everything that he needs to win the fight. He just needs to perform like how he performs. You look at Armand Herxeg, it took him 34 seconds, 34 seconds to win his quarterfinal fight against Jake McHugh. He won that in emphatic fashion. Jake McHugh made one mistake and he made him pay for it. I never underestimate an uh, opponent. I didn't underestimate Armand the first time. Uh, he did surprise me, don't get me wrong. For me, Jake just made a mistake and uh, uh, Armand capitalized from it. And now we need to make sure that London doesn't strike twice. The other factor in this fight is the roller coaster he has been on to get to the point where he can compete in the semi finals. We sent him to a neurologist back in the UK to get him cleared. Everything was great, everything was fine, but you can't help but think, as a young man in a sport like this, how is that playing on his mind? I'm not even thinking about it. Like, I've just got to go in there with my full ability, my full mindset. Whereas, like, I've got to go smash, I've got to give this 100%. If I give this, like, 90% because like, I'm cautious about getting hit, I, I could lose, do you know what I mean? When I give my all, no one can beat me. For me, this is not just about George physically, how has he recovered from that last fight, but more importantly, mentally, is he ready? He's going to be thinking methodically about every single move. You know, George is a geek himself, so that, that's really going to play into his hands. And I see George coming the victor out of this fight. That's what I think makes me better than most people because I don't have to see red to win a fight. I can beat someone technically and tactically and physically. And that's what happened. George is obviously a, a prospect and has a good MMA style, fighting to take someone down, to, to keep them there. He doesn't take the positions too much and he beats them up when he's in there. So he scores points for a element is the that policy. What I love about Armand Herxeg is when you look at fighters, sometimes you categorize them as athletes, sometimes you categorize them as mixed martial artists, sometimes as fighters. Armand Herxeg is a fighter that just happens to be a great athlete and a fantastic mixed martial artist. But today they're not training, they are studying. They are looking back at George's previous fights. The fights they're looking back at now is potentially George's biggest accolades. This is where he won the European IMAFs. We may be thinking to cut him. We know the fight with Matthew George took a little bit of damage. He had to go hospital. Maybe if we can inflict more damage in this fight, we can get a doctor stoppage or a cut in between the rounds. Yeah, elbows are allowed now, you know, and that, that's, that's, a, that's a bad thing for George, you know. Armin can be using his elbows in the bottom. George has never had any elbows, you know, to the face. That is the magic ingredient which could cause George Staines a lot of problems. He might start getting scared, you know, he might not want to go in for the takedowns as much because he knows that if he goes and hits the mat, he's going to be taking elbows with Armin's guard, so... I can see them being clinched up from early and George trying to impose his will and be heavy and be on top. I can see Armin maybe tipping away with some of them elbows and trying to cut him. It's going to be a good one for the fans, I think, as well, because, you know, if Armin keeps to his game plan, keeps the range and distance, I think it's his night. People think he was a striker, and then um, he, his last fight, he, he beat a good solution artist, you know, so, yeah. This is, this is exciting. I feel like everyone's gonna do well making way. 
Um, I don't really see any problems of anybody missing weight. I wasn't actually around for George's first weight cut. George is in the same sort of position he was in last time as well. Beautiful. Even if I was 15 kilos over, Christian, I'd make it. Like, I'm just, but that's what I mean, it's that's mentality. Like, look, when I was at the IMAF, the, wear, the Euros, I had to run every day to sweat the weight off because there was no baths, no saunas. The hottest thing I could get was a shower, and you're not going to sweat enough in a shower. If you're like point two, two over, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. You float that. That's one thing I don't think these guys have on me is like, I'm not going to give up ever. Like that mentality is what I have over all the rest of them. Like I don't care. I will do it. I'll do whatever it takes to get that weight off and get that win. Ugh. George just made waste in a lot of high-pressure situations in a very short space of time. I'd say George is probably going to have another tight enough weight cut, but I don't feel that it's anything that he won't be used to. OK. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm good. My weight cut was easy. I woke up on weight. I had a meal yesterday and everything. I'm. I'm a professional, you know, this is what we do. We make sure we make weight correctly and we keep an eye on our weights and we do it right, so I'm used to this. So, semi-final number two. Let's get these guys weighing. First of all, from Ireland, Arman Hooksit! 70.8 is the magic number. 70.75 for Arman Hooksit! You know Armin, he's fought a featherweight. I knew he was gonna he was gonna fly through it. He woke up on with. Next up, let's welcome his opponent, George Staines. Seventy-one point oh five. George will have two hours, two hours to make that weight. When George stepped on the scales and he missed it a little bit, I was just like, ah, oh, crap. I just knew that he, he wasn't a professional guy. I think he just still is in that amateur mindset. What show would it be if we didn't have controversy? Welcome to Octagon. Just over 200 grams. 200 grams, you have two hours to make that weight. Shave down that chest, lad. Our scales said I was fine. I'm 70.8, bang on. Step on the scales here, 71.05. Oh, <laughs> Choices are new. How do you want to yep. wait? Do you want to go for a run? Yep. You know, yep. you to, should we drive back Two to professionals? Okay, have a bath. Yeah. yeah. Passive's the best one. Passive, yeah. What's that? Passive. Passive, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How do you say passive? Yeah. Passive. Yeah. And also, it just gives something the Irish people just to chat crap about, you know, it's just, oh, God. It's actually quite a good thing for Armin that George has missed with it. I think it was just a panic set in and he didn't know what to do, so he decided to blame the scales. But it could potentially affect the fight. It means less time to rehydrate. It means going through a tougher weight cut, not feeling as comfortable. It could also give Armin extra confidence. All right, let's go. I actually felt a little bit bad for George Staines um, missing weight today because he didn't miss it by much. He missed it by, by 200 grams, I think. When they're losing the weight, when they're cutting the weight, they've got a set of scales, but those scales don't matter. The only scales that matter are the official scales. So, 20 minutes in here, 10 minutes into slowing down, and then we'll check. And then if you have to get back in, we'll get back, back in. Yeah, we're, we, don't, we don't want you to cool down too much. I say in fighting, you used to pay me to make the weight. I fight for free, you know, like, making weight is an absolute ball ache, you know, like, it takes a lot of discipline, uh, it's not fun. The first time something like this has happened, I'm very disappointed in myself, but it's very professional. I've missed the first weight, but like a professional, I will fix the, fix the mistake and make work. They're going to give him some stick because that's what Irish people do. They're the, I mean, Team Ireland trying to get in people's heads, right? Everyone's made weight so far on the show. He tried to make all these excuses about, oh, the scales are off and this and that and the other. Oh, he's on weight and my scales are home. No one cares about your excuses, mate. 200 grams is a lot at this stage, so sick for him. I'm going to enjoy my food and everything. I woke up on weight. I'm as professional as you can get. You're so dehydrated and you're hungry, you're thirsty, and then you think you're going to get on the scale and you think, Yes, I could eat, and then you get, boom, no, I have to go do more. It's very deflating. It is He's a fat mess. It's unprofessional. He's like. a fat bastard, bro. You went back to Hull, he was eating fucking pastels and all that shit, whatever the fuck they eat in, in Hull. Like. So there's nothing really apart from smashing everyone's face in. Like I said before, when people make me wake up, when I wake up, they're making me do it. 
They're making me feel this. So they, I will make them feel my pain on the fun fight day. That's all I've got to say. Five minutes left. George is back. Dead meat. You can step straight on the scales, George. Dead meat. 70.8. That's what we need to hit. Job done, 70.45. George has never missed weight in his whole time, in his whole career. He's one of the biggest prospects probably in the UK and Ireland, and this is the first time he's ever missed weight. Armand, were you concerned? Were you worried? No. No? No, that doesn't bother me. It's his own problem, not mine. Luckily, with just five minutes to spare, he got back on the scales. He was actually 200 grams underweight, and that means this fight, this fight and all the drama behind it is now official. OK, bring him for forward first for the stare down. Armand oh, Hercsek. And his opponent, George Staines. Face to face, I felt a real strong energy from Armand. I think he's underestimating my abilities. I will show him tomorrow that he should have never done that. From George, he was focused. He didn't blink once while he was staring at Armand. I was like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, let's go. But what I felt was a real, you know, confidence and belief coming from Armand Herzeg that he could do what he did in the other fight, surprise everybody as the underdog and take out who is classed as the favorite in this show, George Staines. This is our second semi-final, guys. Armand Herxed versus George Staines. Oh, semi-final number two. I noticed there was ants, so I laid some sugar down in the ground to basically collect the ants. Once enough ants had gathered up, I brushed them on their bit of like a bread packet. Hi, Dad. Uh, yeah, good, so... Um, and... and then decided to sprinkle them over George and Jake's bed. Dennis and Burr. They're acting quite oblivious, pretending that they don't know what we're doing or saying because they don't actually want to engage in it. But I couldn't get to sleep for ages for some reason. I've got no idea why. All right. All right. Love, you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. If you don't notice the ants, you're going to notice the sugar. I surely wouldn't want to be sleeping with ants in the bed. The English ones are actually responding to us because they feel that if they do, we will escalate things like we've done so with Hassan. If they were reciprocating things, it would be like a little bit easier. I'm gonna mince George up like that, man. That's what George's face is gonna look like when I'm done with him, man. A Georgie boy on the pan. Nice and spicy. I wish every night on the show was like tonight. It's been the most peaceful it has been throughout the entire competition. Right now, it just feels like another day, as always. This is. Another day in the office. I just try and stay as focused and as single-minded as possible. I've become a lot more um, in control of my emotions on fight day. There's only one outcome. There's only one possible outcome for this, and that's with me winning. So um, I feel like that mindset definitely does like play a massive factor in how I perform. Looking forward to getting some punches into the fat boy who missed weight. But it is what it is, let's go. It's a good day today. The second semi final has the most pressure of any fight we've had in this series. Not just because of what's on the line as far as that spot in the finale, but what's on the line as far as, you know. Could it be an All-Ireland final? Ireland have lost three, four of the challenges, including the quiz, and now they're on the verge of a head-to-head -head between countrymen for the title of Octagon Challenge champion. But without a doubt, the favorite in the series has been St. George Staines.
George and Armand, I'm super excited about this fight. Armand, we saw him fall in first fight. He was tough, strong, and this kind of like aggressive fighter. He's still a little bit behind George in almost everything what I saw in the trainings, in the fights. On another side is a George Staines. This let go guy, how we called him, always nice, but in fight, he changed to the professor of MMA who is doing everything right in his fight. And George shows that he's got not just the skills, but also the heart. I think that George can beat Arman uh, before the limit. But the one who wants it more, he will win. We are set and ready for our second semi-final here. There is one place up for grabs in the finale. Let's welcome first from Team Ireland, Armand the Crane Hergzik! <laughs> This is the big fight, this is the big one, like. I think you can light a fire under him, you know? He's calm, he's composed, he's like a lion, and he's gonna go in there and eat George alive. Armand might absolutely butcher George with elbows. He'll have to knock me out or choke me out to beat me. And now, let's welcome our second semi-finalist from Team England, St. George State! <laughs> George and I'm going to be a good fight. I think George is going to annihilate him. I can't see George making any mistake. We'll see. You know, I know the force is strong with George. There's going to be another morning breakfast. Proper morning breakfast. I know there's another George Dennis W is coming. Guys, to the middle. You know the rules. Mm -hmm. This is my instru instructions when you want to touch the gloves. Do it now. No and more touch, to lad, yeah? Next touch is you touching his chin, lad. Okay. Ready? Ready? First round, fight! Oh, Patience, no, don't touch. Yes! Patience! Patience! Yes. Oh, I didn't like that! Oh. He's going to shoot! Nice, nice, go nice. for it, go for it, if you can. Stay, you stay the other side, side, on the other side. Ugly, 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 ugly. Yes! Make it ugly, yeah. lad. Yeah, nice. Hey, Watch the hand! Stay heavy on, take it off and stay heavy. Shots there, little, little knuckle shots. Heavy hits, heavy hits. Get them shots, I'm getting any shots. Knuckle shots. Full close guard. Push down with your left hand and get full close guard. Yep, just keep control of the position. Push nice. down with your left hand on the knee nice, that's and get full that's close it. guard. There you Let's go. get keep, full keep close guard. Keep you can, George. Remember, yep. you can. Full close guard, guard element. Pass that ball. Yes. 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 Close yes. and elbow. Close and elbow. Yes! Close it. Close your guard, Armin. Close it. Close it. Hold his head. Keep good head position, please. Elbows. Good head position. Elbows and knuckles. Post an elbow. Post an elbow. Post an elbow. Knuckle shots and elbows, Armin. Post an elbow. When he opens that, I've got to get a pass it. Nice. Nice. Pass it. Yes. Nice shot. Yes. Keep it flat. Keep it flat. Keep it flat. Keep it flat. Oh, guard, lad. Nice. That's good. That's good. There you go. Nice. Nice, George. There you go. Fuck him up from there. Feet on the back. Heavy on him. Heavy on him. Heavy on him, George. Heavy on him. Stay heavy on him. Stay heavy on him. Run off that cage. Stay heavy. Yeah. Beautiful. No, Be patient, Be patience. Yeah. Elbows yeah. out. Yeah. Elbows out. Yeah. Triangle, triangle, yes. Yeah. 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 Hold his head there. down, Armin. Yeah. Control your posture, George. Oh, oh, elbows and elbows. Body, 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 head, chip away. Post, post, post. Yeah, post. yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. nice. Stay on top of him there. Yeah. Yeah. Stay yeah. heavy. Watch out, heavy. Back to the mouth. Back to the mouth. Back to the mouth. Keep punching there. Be patient. Stay boys hit. 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 Yes, I'm patient, Driving forward, driving forward. Yeah. Yeah. Elbow, driving forward. Position. Position. Nice, back nice. On the keep good position. Back on the position. Get your back on position. the mat. Position. Position. Body triangle, body yeah. triangle. Your back body triangle. Back to the mat. Head and shoulders on the mat. Head and shoulders on the mat. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, make your ugly. 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 Make
Black on the mat, yes! Black on your head, on the mat! Black on your head, on the mat! Hook, hook his bottom leg with that Back one. Back of the head. Halfway Force him, force him to the mat. Two minutes and a half left. Force his belly to the mat. This is the star we expected. Yeah, turn it Back on, turn it on the mat. Yeah, nice, nice. Oh, it's nice. not nice. Oh, nice. 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 Winning bash, 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 bash. Oh, wow. What's going on? Yeah, buddy. The Emperor is real. Let's go. Come on. Come on, George. Well done. Listen for the name George Staines. Say hey, George Staines. Say George Staines. <laughs> Watch my name. Watch me go to fame. Let's fucking go. Yeah. So I'm, I'm showing up people how dangerous I am. Your referee called a stop to the action two minutes, 53 seconds into round number one. Your winner by rear naked choke and progressing to the finale from Team England, St. George Stain! It was brilliant. Um, it, you can't beat the feeling after a fight as well. It's just like people like, woo, it's there, it's ace. It's really, really good. George was the better man today. I made a mistake. 3-3. Three, three. You know, like, yeah, man, so I'm happy. But one thing he has to remember is to be a saint, you have to die. It was super exciting, even though it was short, and I didn't expect it to go that quick. And Avenged Jake, which is uh, really, really cool. The second semi-final. Wow, the, uh, the tension in the room before it began. The stare down between the guys as they were waiting for the referee to call them together, it was so palpable. The energy was something different from all the other fights we've witnessed in the Octagon Gym. The game plan was a simple one. Straight, fakes, and move. Armand came out and did exactly what he was supposed to do, apart from the last bit. He was just um, well calculated on the ground, and he was a wee bit of, of a step ahead of me, and he got the opportunity to take my back, and. Choked me out, and he did. Armand did all he could. That rear naked choke was deep. Armand fought as hard as he could for as long as he could until he had to tap. I would be humble in victory and defeat. George was the better man today. He, he done very well, stuck to his game plan. Felt that George would get it done. If fights a fight, right? Shit can happen. And he nearly did, as in George came out a bit lackluster, and Armand hit him with a stiff jab. Bomb snapped his head back, made his nose bleed. He, he walked into range and got hit with a jab, which probably woke him up. Armand has the, the ability to take your lights out, you know, so he's very dangerous. New watching his fights, what he does, he turns away from you, turns his back towards you, so I'm like, if I can get him to kick me off, I can get take that back whenever I want. George done really good, showed the skill set in there, took Armand down, controlled him, took us back, choked him out. But now, that gives us the end to this story, the story that has been underlying throughout this series, the story that has been, you know, born from Dennis Frimpong opening his mouth again. So now, now we get to settle it. So after eight crazy weeks of insane challenges, mad fights in this cage, it all comes down now to two guys, two men that will face off in the finale at the Manchester Arena on November 4th. They will fight for the Octagon Challenge Championship, they will fight for national pride, and they will fight for a five-figure contract in Octagon MMA. Let's bring these guys together for the first time. Dennis Frimpong and George Staines. I think two of the guys might have been the favourites to be in the final, you know? Uh, you could not have wrote this, like... That's gonna be a good one, man. I, I'm excited, super excited for that. I think this is just, like, every promoter's dream, to have these two fighting each other in the final. It's all coming to a head now that we see both of these in the finals, that we're gonna see George and Dennis go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It will see two top-level martial artists put their skills on the test. No, I can't wait for that day, and it's gonna be fun. Everything I've been saying will come to fruition. Can George shut his mouth? Or will once again Dennis Frimpong walk the walk, talk the talk? And I'll make him want to finish me, and then I will finish him. 
These are your two finalists. We will see Ireland versus England in the AO Arena in Manchester. George Staines versus Dennis Frimpong. Let's go. We bring English and Irish fighters to Octagon 47. I'm sure it's a moment they'll remember forever. I'm very grateful for the amount of people that turned out. They see the energy, the vibe. It's not what I was then, but I wasn't anything better. And the best part of it was the fans. It's what a time to be alive and to experience all this. That was nuts, to be honest. Immediately, they told me that uh, they wanted more.